The Life and Sad Ending of Patricia Clarkson Patricia Clarkson was born Patricia Davies Clarkson on December 29, 1959, in New Orleans, Louisiana. The youngest of five girls, she has four sisters. She went to an Ivy League, Yale, college to study dramatic arts. Daughter of New Orleans, L.A. Councilwoman Jaxie Clarkson, graduated from Fordham University at Lincoln Center, 1982. Some of her favorite movies are Desk Set, Driving Miss Daisy Gaslight, Gosford Park, Sexy Beast, and E2 Mama Tambien. Credits Ingrid Bergman as one of her favorite actresses and the reason she became one. She was a member of the dramatic jury at the Sundance Film Festival in 2000. In 2003, she was in two different independent films and a prominent cast member for Dawson's Creek. In the station agent, Michelle Williams played an acquaintance from the same small town as Patricia's character, and in Pieces of April, she played the mother of the title character portrayed by Katie Holmes. For a few years after Roger Dodger premiered in 2002, the Tribeca Film Festival, she was the girlfriend of Campbell Scott. Nominated in the Outstanding Actress for Made for Television Movie 5 and the Woman's Image Networks Award in 2012. After working with director Will Gluck, she vowed to star in every movie he would make from then on, subsequently starred in his film Friends with Benefits and Annie. Her maternal grandmother was the daughter of Basque Spanish father and Lithuanian Jewish mother. Patricia's one ancestry includes French Cajun, German, English, Irish, Scottish, Scott Irish, Northern Irish, and Remote Dutch. She won the 2019 Global Award for Best Performance by an Actress and Supporting Role in the series, limited series of motion picture made for television category for her role as Adora Krellin in Sharp Objects. She has never married, nor has she ever had children. In an interview in 2016, she said, I never wanted to marry and I never wanted to have children. I was born without that gene. Her most memorable screen kiss with British actor Darwin Shaw in the season six of the series House of Cards. The last memorable kiss was with Robert Downey Jr. in Good Night and Good Luck. Some personal quotes. There were some moves I passed early on and some movies that I didn't get because of big studio films. But now I look back and realize I really came later into life and kind of a career. I was somewhat typecast as suburban mom type roles early on. But I've always had this deep voice, so I think with tough, it's tough sometimes with directors to cast me as ingenuine. Because I'd walk in and look a certain way, then open my mouth and have this voice. So I think I sort of grew into my voice, my face, my body as I got older. I think most people see me as much darker, more serious, and possessing in a certain gravitas than when I really get quite insane. I guess I want everyone to see my insanity. I have far more nutty and unpredictable side. I go where I need to go. If I need to look glamorous or spiffy or young or battling cancer or drugged out or a hippie type, I hopefully will be projected in my face. That's the beauty of acting. Hopefully it comes through. It's not about hair or makeup, different color of hair. It's about being malleable. I just always hope it's going to work because you never know. I've dated several men with motorcycles. I would like to say I've dated several poet laureates, but no. I've dated several fucking men with motorcycles. Motorcycles make me love a man more. A guy who has a motorcycle, you want to be on the back of the motorcycle. And if your feelings were slightly ambivalent, suddenly they're not. When you hang on, it's just wind and sex and speed and hair. On her appearance in the famous Mother Lover music video featuring Justin Timberlake, it was just an insane moment in her life to be a part of that video, and one that will forever follow her for the rest of her life, and one that, you know, you realize there are people in the world that only know me for the video. Oh my God, oh my God. But I had the best time doing it. Patricia Clarkson endured her loneliness when she learned that she was never married, hoping that was not the end of her life. Wish you find happiness soon.
in your life 